there's a lot of discussion on the internet today about radiation risks, about what's happening at the nuclear reactors in Japan. Uh, and I want to point to Maggie Kurth Baker's po post at Boing Boing. Uh, she says she's in the process of putting together a longer post that will add some con context to the concept of radiation, but she did actually, uh, she's like, the nuclear scientists are a little busy right now. They're, they're not responding to my emails because I'm not a priority, but she actually did get some, uh, some good information from Dr. Catherine Higley, uh, head of Oregon State University's Department of Nuclear Engineering and Radiation Health Physics, uh, and says that information keeps changing from the Fukushima power plant as the situation changes, but one plant worker received a 10 rem dose. That's twice the annual occupational dose, twice what regulators have deemed safe for someone who works in a nuclear power plant. Now, the interesting thing about this, you may think, wow, twice the dose, that's horrible. But that risk translates into a 1% increase into having some sort of cancer or some sort of health risk related to that radiation. So twice the radiation does not mean twice the risk. Obviously, it raises your risk, but 1%, actually 0.5 to 1% is a lot different. So I, I like, Boing Boing is doing a great job, by the way, of covering this and trying to bust through the FUD and say, you know, this is real. Uh, this, is, this is the PR that you're getting. This is what seems to be really happening on, on all sides of the issue, not just like, you know, busting the FUD of, of the power plant, trying to contain the information about what's really happening, but also trying to, to bust through, you know, people overreacting to the radiation issue. Radiation right. is a bad thing. I mean, I'm not saying it's okay, but you need to have some accurate sensibility about how bad it is in order to accurately estimate how bad the problem is. Well, let me tell you, if you want to immediately cut past anyone's logic circuits and immediately make them scared, just mention nuclear radiation because it's so counterintuitive. It's this thing you can't see, touch, smell, or perceive in any way that can kill you. Nuclear fallout, of course, is a real problem. Uh, but one of the things that, uh, in, and this is in no way meant to downplay the danger of the situation, but as people start throwing around the word Chernobyl, people really start to get worried. Uh, and uh, I, I want to point people to, there's a fantastic speech by Michael Crichton uh, that you can find on YouTube. I believe it's called Fear and Complexity. Uh, and he talks about how he wanted to create a global disaster. So he looked up some research on Chernobyl. The initial estimates at the time were that 2,000 people died at the accident and that upwards of 400,000 people died through later complications because of exposure to radiation and cancers and that kind of thing. As he dug into the numbers, uh, the actual numbers turned out that around 50 people died during the actual disaster, most of whom, about 30 of them, were fighting the fire live on the scene, and that's where, that's where they died. And that long-term cancers and infertility rates um, were such that basically only 4,000 to the day. Now, of course, the speech was written a, a while ago, and of course, there's some fact-checking to be done on that. But that is a massive difference from a perceived disaster to the actual number. And the one thing he points out that blew my mind was that the World Health Org Organization did a study on what the biggest impact of, uh, of Chernobyl was, and they concluded that the number one negative impact of Chernobyl was not the radiation exposure, it was the 